Hi. Come in, come in. Hey, nice to see you, man. Hi. How are you? All the, the Black Brigade. Did you get your tree? Uh, oh, dude. Oh, wow. Look at that, eh? My name is David Britz, I'm a visual artist and I live and work in Cape Town. You grew up in a 265 year old house, what has, how has that influenced your work? Um, that's a very good question. I, I suppose I have a great love affair with history and that often is reflected in the projects that I have uh, been occupied with. Yeah. Uh, what's your star sign? Uh, Li Virgo Libra Cusp. What languages do you speak? I speak English, uh, Afrikaans, um, a bit of Spanish and French, and a little bit of Isipasa. What treat did you choose? Um, I chose uh, macaroons from Cassis, mainly because I haven't had them in years. Uh, and I thought it was a little bit cheeky to ask for that, because like, you know, it's a, it's a, special, it's a special gift. The mix, the mix flavors. <laughs> can, I, can I eat one now? Yeah. Yeah. Your favorite art destination? Switzerland. Do you have an art crush? Uh, like, isn't like a person? It, it could be. <laughs> no, no, it's like an artist <laughs> you admire. <laughs> um, art crush, I would say Nicholas Schlobel. But if you do have an art crush, here's the moment. Uh, it's... No, no. Okay. <laughs> this is not the moment. <laughs> <laughs> a typical day? Um, a typical day, I wake up at about 8 o'clock. Um, I meditate and write and make a bit of breakfast. Then I usually come to the studio or do projects out of, out of studio until about 5 or 6. Uh, you recently told me a funny story about when you taught at Michaelis. Can ah. you elaborate? Um, yeah, so about two years ago, I was uh, actually asked to speak at Michaelis. I was hustling a bit then. Uh, sorry, not speak, uh, to teach at Michaelis. And I taught a color project in painting. Um, but what I didn't tell them is that I was colorblind. So it was without that the hardest week of work I've ever had in my life. And um, I had to invent ways about like talking around the fact that I didn't know <laughs> what color the backdrop was or the flower was and stuff like that. Uh, your favorite thing about working in contemporary South Africa? Um, is the diversity and the friendliness of the people. And you're a multimedia artist. I mean, you work in various ways and you're experimenting with sculptures now. What's your favorite? Um, I would say painting on walls is like one of the most soothing things and also making like paper cutouts. Here are our profiles of a drawing, like put into space. What's on your playlist right now? Uh, my playlist is, uh, I'm listening to a lot of Indian classical music, um, like Ravi Shankar, um, and also Bob Dylan. Book or Kindle? Book. What's the last good book you read? I'm reading Catch-22 at the moment, that's excellent, by Joseph Heller. What's the last tab you opened? Probably Facebook. <laughs> and the last photo you took? Um, was yesterday, like, documenting some portraits that Kent and Dresden was doing. 2016 was a major year for you. What were uh, some of your highlights? Oh, that's nice, kind of you. Um, I think not having to... Letting work find me. Not having to hustle as much. And I think being published in the Art Times was definitely a highlight for me, mainly because it was like... A cool nut to crack, you know, even though it's a small one. <laughs> yeah. um, best advice you'd give to someone trying to make it at the moment? Um, be on time, uh, do excellent work and be very kind to everybody that you work with. Okay, if you could own one artwork, what would it be? I think a drawing by um, Michelangelo. Favourite artwork you currently own? Uh, Sandy Harris, self-portrait with uneven breasts and camel toe. You're currently working in a fashion collection with Good Good Store. What can we look forward to? Uh, you can look forward to uh, this in prints on clothes. Tell me about your clutches with black. But how did that collaboration come about? Oh, um, actually it was... Uh, I met Tamze Alpha Rachne, 
it's actually a Jordanian name. Mm -hmm. um, outside of Max Bagel, Bagel one day, and we sort of became friends. Uh, and uh, he showed an interest in my work. And what else can we expect from you in 2017? Um, I'm also, well, I'm writing a play at the moment. It's going to be showing at the end of March this year it, at the Slave Church Museum in Longstreet. Do you have a studio ritual? Is there something you have to do before you start making work? Um, you should turn on the air conditioning and uh, play music. What's your pet peeve in the art world? Mm, unfriendliness. Oh, did I ask you what your earliest childhood memory is of making art? Mm, drawing the best dinosaurs in my preschool class. Okay, if you had a dinosaur and you couldn't give it away or sell it, what would you do with it? Like, what do you mean? If you had a dinosaur, <laughs> like a real life a dinosaur. A real one. The question's meant to be with an elephant, but oh. you brought up a dinosaur. Oh, I, would, I would ride it off into the distance. <laughs> cool, now can you please do a self-portrait in 10 seconds? Yeah. Okay, so. Great friends. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, 10, 10 seconds. seconds, yeah. Okay, you're gonna calm me down or something? Okay, go. Nominate for the next art meet. Um, I would say Bonatium Quantum. 